Good morning. Hi, Rapstein, with your morning punch update. This update is for Thursday, leap year day, February 29th. I won't be able to say that for another four years. February 29th, 2024, just after 8, 10 a.m. Central Time. Well, we, you can already see a pretty good range in the Dow, 38,837 to 39. Uh, not, 39,110, You just came off the highs. Look at the 40-point swing in the S&P. So what do you think that's telling you? Let's go to the economic data. Personal income spending. This is what everybody's looking at. So the income goes up 1%. Prior was up 3 tenths. The market expected up 3 tenths. What jumped? Well, half of that rise is due to dividend income. When you dive through the numbers, you see that in January, big amount of dividend income. Now, not everybody gets that, but it was so big, it swayed the number. So that's the first thing. Consumption, two tenths, expected two tenths. The prior month was up seven tenths. Fed wants to see that. I think this number might have scared traders to begin with that personal income, and then once they understood, markets reversed course uh, and rallied again. PCE index itself, a little hot. When you look at the uh, PCE price index, down a little bit. The core PCE was up a tenth. The prior was up two tenths. They expected it up four tenths. The Fed's going to like that number. Then the January core year over year, up 2.8%. That's what they expected. All in all, not enough to dissuade the market one way or the other is my take on this uh, at it. And more favorable than not favorable, once you understand where the income came from, it's a mixture of getting probably at the beginning of the year a bit of a bump in wages. A lot of people get first of the year hikes and that dividend income. Jobless claims going in the right way, up 215 for the week ended. Uh, they expected up nine and 45,000 on the continuing. We get to Chicago PMI literally in about a half hour from now. National Association of Home Builders, we're gonna get the January pending home sales at nine o'clock. We're gonna get at 9.30 the draw on the natural gas. The KC Fed is gonna come out and tell us what things are doing for them. Uh, their composite and business activity in Index at 10 o'clock, and Congress did reach a complicated two-step deal, temporary, so that we don't get a close this coming Saturday in the Fed. However, there are dates in it that have to be met by March. It has nothing to do with Ukraine, Israel, Taiwan, or the border. So they were able to separate that. Uh, while there's uh, conservatives in the Republican Party in the House that are not happy with it, it doesn't appear that there's a move to throw out Mr. Johnson on this. They're saving all that ammunition for the border and for Ukraine, Israel. Now, if you were watching the news this morning, not good news coming out of Gaza. Uh, apparently, Israeli troops fired the news is they fired heavily on a group getting flour and food, a caravan truck, and uh, I don't know any more than that. But this is right in front of them when they're trying to do deals. They say dozens are dead, 100 injured. There's no hospitals to take people to, so to speak. So I don't know what this all means. Uh, it's breaking news, so that's where you're at with it. But it's not the best thing you could have. The metal markets are rallying as we're getting a, a small break in the dollar. Most currencies up, and you got a solid rally taking place in the Japanese yen. As I told you, I've been expecting that the yen was going to down here make a stand, try to say, well, it doesn't have to continue to make further lows. As you can see in the bonds and notes, well, they've been everywhere. But the market is sort of settling back in to where it was. I saw it go from nearly 431 and a half down to 428 and back to nearly unchanged. So you've had a wild swing in that market. I don't know what energies want to do with the news coming out of Israel. And you know, you gotta just think the Red Sea problem's gonna stay. In the grain markets, most are lower, and as I keep saying, the, the combination of a relatively powerful dollar strength and new crops coming on board from South America, this is just not yet the time for the grain markets to say, okay, we're in the fields and we have problems. Bitcoin got up to 64,150. So this market is still on fire. There's calls for 70,000 now, new highs on the move. Um, people are pouring money into that. So you've got to keep your eye on that particular asset class as well. 
I will be covering all this, and I do cover all this, in my morning video. So in about 20 minutes from now, I'll start recording my ETF video, and we'll start coming out with the buy-sell ideas now that the reports were pretty much out of the way. I'll record that at 9. At 5 in the morning, I record my futures video, and I give very specific information. I cover what's going on in Asia, Europe, where we're at, what to be looking for, if there's reports, what the market's looking for on those reports, and then we start looking at charts. And they'll look like this. They'll have window envelopes, Bollinger Bands on them, a series of moving averages, more than you see when I do my end of the day here, my slow stochastic study, and I match up the daily often with the weekly charts showing you, hey, this is where I think you do this, this is where you do that. Uh, I stay with the trade as long as it's good. Futures trades are by their nature shorter term than the ETFs. The ETFs you can be in, as you know, long, long periods of time. I cover all these sectors. A lot of people say, do I cover the grains and the meats, the softs? Yes, I do. And I cover all these sectors plus individual stocks in the ETF. So if you're looking for something that you match the ideas in the morning against your own thoughts, oh, look at that, that's an interesting one, you go. You can always write me privately, and I will do a review for you on a stock that you have. I generally create a 30 to one minute uh, long video, go through the stock, tell you what it is, send it right off to you. I spend a certain amount of time each day, I put it away, if people write that, I try to get that done for them. So go to irapstein.com, Go under the word research, that's where it's at, or move your cursor to the top here. Again, you'll see an icon, just go there, sign up, and away you go, you'll be getting these. I'll see you at the end of the day, trade well.